In this video, we will review the steps involved in importing a Field Genius project into MicroSurvey CAD. First, I've created a new drawing, and I'm then going to go to the Traverse menu and choose Field Genius Import. This will open the Sync Wizard window. By default, the folder set in the MicroSurvey Transfer program as the default download folder will show up here and you may not have microsurvey transfer installed so this folder may not contain any field genius projects if that's the case you can simply choose browse and then browse to the folder on your hard drive where your field genius projects were stored after you imported them from your data collector all the projects will be dis listed below you can navigate through and choose the one you'd like to import you can also check on this option to archive the project and what this will do is after the import has taken place it'll move this Field Genius project folder into another archive folder of your choosing thereby organizing your files for you and you won't have to keep track of which projects have been imported and which haven't. Personally I leave this option off as I like to keep all of my Field Genius projects in one folder and work from there. I'll then choose next. In this window we can set that archive location which I just mentioned but in this case it's not going to be used. We have a few other options here that we can set for uh, the layering and line work if we weren't using an auto map but because I have an auto map already associated with this project I don't need to worry too much about these. I can simply hit next. We'll then have a review window where we can review uh, the various settings that we've chosen. And when we're happy with that, we can hit finish. We'll then get the import toggle check window and here we can turn on or off various options such as uh, if we don't want to display the elevations or descriptions for example. We can also set a new auto map here if we would like or turn off the auto map altogether. I'm just going to leave these set to default and choose OK. Now we're prompted to create a Traverse file. Now in this case I'm going to create a new file, but if I was working in an, an existing project which already contained a Traverse file, I could append this to an existing file which would be listed over here on the right. We can also add some uh, information about the Traverse as well. If you don't wish to create a Traverse file and you just want to import your points, just choose Cancel, but in this case I'm going to choose OK. We can then see that the project has been imported, all of our points and line work is brought in. If I go back to the Traverse menu and choose the Active Traverse Editor, I can open that up. Now this was a GPS project, so I don't have any conventional observations in my Traverse file. If I had completed a Traverse, I would have all my observation information in here, and I could make changes to things such as instrument heights. If we're happy with that, we can just close the window. I'll then switch over to the Points menu and open up the Active Coordinate Editor, and we can see that all of our points have been imported right into the database. If we open up the Sync Wizard option again, it will remember the last used folder, so you won't have to browse to it once again. Thanks for watching.